These are both my brothers. My adopted brother and my blood brother. Just because I have a black brother who was adopted does not mean I know what it's like to walk in his shoes and to experience racism. My blood brother is a cop and a good man. Not all cops are bad. My blood brother keeps himself physically fit so that if he needs to arrest and detain someone, he can do so without having to use his weapon and hurt or kill someone who does not deserve to be hurt or killed. It is not a police officer's job to decide who gets to live and who gets to die. That being said, please know that not all police officers are bad people. My father is a cop. My mom is having a really, really hard time right now because she fears for the life of my brother, who's a police officer. And she fears for the life of my black brother who was adopted. I see so much back and forth between people where it seems so black and white, literally. The protests right now, I feel, are focusing more on the rights of black people who have had to deal with racism their whole lives. I cannot begin to understand. <sighs> Sorry. I can't understand what it's like to be a black person who gets pulled over and right away has to wonder if they'll be shot by a police officer who has not been trained properly and does not know how to use his weapon. This is really hard for me to talk about because I love my brother who is a police officer. I love my father who is a police officer. My father taught my brother that it is not it is not a police officer's responsibility to kill someone just because they've broken the law. If you break a law, that should not be a death sentence. My father taught my blood brother that as a police officer, you have a responsibility. You are not a civilian. And when you, you decide to be a cop, you know what you signed up for. You know that when you go to work, you are taking a chance that by protecting people who are innocent, you risk your life and that's the risk that you take. My black brother did not sign up to be judged by the color of his skin. That is something that he cannot help. But police officers, they can help. There are people like my brother, my blood brother, who is a police officer, who do want to help, and they're good people. We ask that the police please be a good example, like my blood brother and my dad. <laughs> Stand up for what's right. But you cannot judge and decide who gets to live and who gets to die. <sighs> Sorry. You know, it's it's definitely like uh, we're in history. History seems to repeat itself in a strange way, and so it's kind of a kind of living in a strange time right now. And you know, and I I try to be really careful with the things I say. Uh, I try not to 
be judgmental and I try to see everyone's point of view. Um, I've learned that it's really important to um, look, like look for the good in everybody, but also um, just be be kind, be generous, be accepting, be. Just know that like there's a lot of people that walk a different path than you. There's a lot of people that experience things that you've never experienced. Um, it's really easy to get stuck in this one track mind where, you know, you don't ever think about any others, anybody else's point of view or, or situations. And so it's easy to, to judge just based on what you see and what you know. And so, you know, obviously there's, there's billions of people around the world, you know, and just take America, for example, there's over 300, 300, 300 million people. Um, so it, it's something that we all, we all walk different paths. We're all here together. We all experience different things. Um, it's just really important to be accepting and loving. And so, you know, we, we totally agree with, with the protests. And I, I agree, you know, if, if something, how else, how else do you get, if there's a, if there's something, a, a big issue at hand, a, a, a something that needs to be done, there's something that needs to be done, um, that, you know, what better way to, to express it by getting a lot of like-minded people that experience the same things and express it. Um, and so I just, I just hope and, and we pray that, that people just, um, be kind. And there's definitely a way to get things done without uh, bloodshed. And so, and again, you know, nobody, nobody knows everybody's path. We all have different paths. And so be kind, be understanding, um, be, be okay with not, not fully understanding someone's point of view, but accept the fact that you don't know what it's like to be them. And be okay with that and, and respect that. And so um, it's it's emotional to see what's going on. It's really sad. And, you know, it, we're just, I just feel like that as a nation, we're, we're better than what's happening right now. Um, I agree that for the most part, um, there's probably a lot of undertrained law enforcement. Um, these, there's men that probably aren't, as qualified as they should be to be in the positions that they are. Um, but then you know what? There's probably just as many that are. And so, uh, I just, we just hope that people will be understanding and kind and that the, the fighting will, will stop. So I just wanted to say that to my black brother, Elijah, we love you. And like I said, I don't know what it's like to walk in your shoes, but I've witnessed, I've witnessed some parts of your life and I've seen it and I've seen the racism. And to my brother and my father, who are both police officers, I respect you, you're good men. And I truly believe that you are the example of what a police officer, what a police officer should be. And we love you.